Hey guys, welcome back. I am about to tackle my kitchen because it is looking a little bit rough and get everything back in place. It's not too much longer before I need to pick up the kids from school, so I'm gonna try to work quickly. I was in TJ Maxx the other day and I saw these organizers for all of my saran wrap and plastic wrap and bags and stuff like that. So I went ahead and grabbed two of them just in case I needed an extra one and they fit perfectly in the cabinet and it was nice to get it organized because I've just had them in a bin and every time I need to use something, I have to dig through the bin and this makes it so much more accessible. Of course it's me, so I have to move everything around a million times before it's how I like it to be. And I wanted to just go ahead and add Mark's little Nutribullet and all of his blender cup stuff down here because it actually takes up a good bit of space. And I thought this was the perfect little area for it. And then all of the stuff that I had duplicates for, like the saran wrap and all that, I put it behind. And then I also found these little stair step organizers for my canned goods in the pantry. And these were also super cheap, I think $3.99, and they work really wonderfully in my pantry. We didn't really have a ton of canned goods on this shelf because over the past few weeks, all four of our kids have participated in a canned food drive at their school. So every day they've been taking in cans or dollars. So they kind of wiped us out a good bit. We really don't use them all that much, but I like to have them stocked up for just in case. Thank you guys for all of your recommendations for painting the island. I know there has been a video in the past that y'all have given me recommendations to, but I think once we get through a little bit of the craziness of the holiday season, we are definitely painting this island and I feel like I'm going into it blindly well before I had y'all's suggestions because I don't know that I've ever painted anything that's already painted and I just felt like that would be so different than painting something that's stained or just raw wood. But I'm looking forward to doing it. I think with 
the help of y'all and all the suggestions that y'all gave me, I feel like I am prepared and know what to do. The main thing y'all said is make sure that I sand it down completely and just use the right type of paint. And y'all gave me so many options and I really, really appreciate that. I cannot wait for y'all to see it after it's done. I feel like it's going to completely transform the kitchen. Every time I show these strainers on my channel, I get asked at least once or twice where they're from and they're from Ikea. And I tried to find a link at one point and I couldn't, but then one of y'all had commented a link in the comments. So I'll try to look for a link and put that in the description box. They are so cheap and I really love them, especially when you're doing lots of fruit and veggie prep all at the same time. You tried when you were around I've been told too many times now Yeah, loving me was all you tried when you were around I've been told too many times now But somewhere I kind of feel like I've been way off my game with the Christmas decor this year. Some areas in my home are fully done and decorated, and then some areas are not done at all. I haven't even finished my tree. It's up and it has the ornaments on it, but it's not fully how I like it. And I almost wonder if I'm even going to get it how I like it before it's time to take it all down. But I typically do put out Christmas mugs because we like to drink hot chocolate and of course Mark likes coffee. And I hadn't done it yet so I figured I would put them out because the cups were just kind of sitting out on the counter and looking for a home. Yeah, can't you see that I just need to be by myself? I have told you many times now. But I've been feeling a little stressed out lately and overwhelmed because I have not been staying on top of planning out my week, even planning out my groceries and our meals and just everything we have going on. And with a family of six, it's not smart not to plan. Even while I was cleaning up the kitchen, I was starting to feel stressed out because I knew I had a bunch of stuff coming up with work and with friends and with family and Christmas plans. And it was all just swirling around in my head and I had nothing written down. And I knew in order to be able to finish cleaning the house and do what I needed to do that I needed to sit down and write my thoughts down and plan for the next few weeks and months and it would make me feel so much better. It always does. Be 
so I wanted to kind of show y'all what I'm working on right now. These planners are from Personal Planner and they are a Swedish planner company that produce and sell custom made planners. I have right here the mix book and I was just looking through it all. I'm just getting started really, but they have the monthly section that you can fill out. But what I love most about this is it's fully customizable. I chose every single page of this planner, the colors and everything. And then I chose several pages of everyday gratitude because there is just something so important about writing down what you're thankful for. And then I have tons of these pages that say make a list because I am such a list maker. I don't really love putting anything into my phone. I love to write everything down. So since it's fully customizable, I chose to do pages and pages and pages of lists and I'm notorious for losing my list. So I love that this is all in here and it can close up like this. So you're not gonna lose your stuff and it's beautiful. I chose the front of this and the back too. And I wanna show y'all a couple more pages. I did a lot of blank space too because I think that's so important, but they have monthly goals and a 30 day challenge page. Oh, and y'all, I even added in Sudoku pages which these are some of my favorite little things to solve. So I thought that would be fun too. So that's the mix book, but what I think I'm going to probably use the most because I have used a planner, I think since I was eight or nine years old, I have never not had a planner. This is definitely my favorite because first of all, it's just really special. I mean, y'all know I love family pictures. I think that was my most favorite part of this whole process is having that special touch because you can't go into a store and find a planner that has your family's picture on it. So I do love that. So you can choose however you want it. I am going to work on really kicking my booty back into gear and getting a little bit more organized because I've been such a procrastinator and just flying by the seat of my pants and driving myself insane. So I actually chose the days like this across, but also the hours. And of course I won't fill these out every single day, but for some days that I really, really need to get stuff done, I love that you can break it down like that. And then I even chose some stuff at the bottom. So this week's dinners, this is another thing I wanna get better at is planning out our weekly meals. And then another area to make some lists and then just a blank space. I love having a planner to keep my life organized. And then the wall calendar, I believe we're going to put this in the pantry because I would love for Mark and I to be able to see this at all times so we kinda know what's going on. And we've chosen not to fill up the month of December with a ton of craziness since it's Christmas and there's a bunch of other stuff going on. So I was kind of looking through this, but I'm going to really get into it in January when the year picks up and you know, schedules get back to normal. But I'm so excited about having somewhere to just put all of our family stuff. So my planner will be more like just what's going on with me, but this will be all the kids appointments and anything Mark has going on with work. And on on the front, since you can choose everything, I just chose to do a little quote that says, don't quit your daydream, honey. And it has my name on it too. And what I also love so much is that it comes with all these stickers. So no matter what you choose for your planners, it's a set price and it includes stickers. And I've never really been a sticker in my planner type person until I started filling these out and I love them. So there's like an I can do it one, let me finish, survive this. There's all kinds of like lovely day, happy birthday, just cute little flowers and trees, happy, take it easy. Mark and I have an anniversary coming up. So I was just filling that out and put a little heart next to it. And I have never, been a fan of pens that can erase and I've never found one that works until this pen. I will link all of the pens that I ordered. So anyways, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time filling this out before I get back to cleaning, but I like to sit down and plan to just clear my head and prepare me for the day and for the week. So that's why I was so excited to partner with Personal Planners and I will leave all of this stuff linked in the description box for you guys to check it out because if you want to get your life organized and not be stressed out all the time you guys need these planners even if you try you wouldn't understand it maybe something's missing inside of you just a bit of sugar to that heart 
maybe you taste different Hold up, hold up, baby I can't sit beside you While you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different if y'all are like me, your kids are home for the next couple weeks on Christmas break. And to me, I feel like I am in the kitchen about a thousand times a day, either preparing snacks or meals or cleaning up after all of that stuff. Mark and I were actually talking earlier about how things were when we were kids and what type of chores that we did. I think I did a little bit more than he did routinely. But I want to get into the habit of having set chores for my kids to do that are completely age appropriate and not overwhelming to them, but stuff that will help make my life a little bit easier since I am cleaning up after four kids every single day. You're all alone. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. Go on, blow up your ego. Your ego. Your undying, undying ego. Oh, look, here he goes. Stepping on toes. Hopefully, all of y'all have had a chance to get all of your Christmas shopping done. I know I typically wait until the last minute to at least finish stuff up, not necessarily to start my shopping, but this year I feel like I waited later than usual and I was starting to get so stressed out, but I think that's because so many people were buying earlier than usual because we were at home and we did a lot of online shopping. So I will say I am super thankful for all the online shopping I was able to do. Thankfully, everything arrived safely at our house, which I know that's another issue that a lot of people have is not getting the packages that they order. So I'm so thankful ours came in. I still have tons of wrapping to do. I'm actually planning on doing a little bit of that tonight and maybe tomorrow night. And I am going to film it just because a lot of y'all asked for me to, but I'm going to be posting it over on our family vlogging channel. Since it is around Christmas time, I would love to hear what some of y'all's favorite Christmas traditions are. So I feel like I have way too many to even list and I'm sure I'm forgetting one that I just love more than anything, but two I can think off the top of my head are getting together gifts for Operation Christmas Child and filling up boxes. My kids love doing that so much. Just finding toys for kids in other countries because the simplest and smallest things in life bring them so much joy. And we always show my kids those videos of them receiving the little boxes and it's just so precious to me. But another thing that I love more than anything is just riding around and seeing Christmas lights. My kids love that so much. We have a neighborhood nearby that does a ton of lights. One house in particular just goes all out and it is so fun. It's our tradition. Every year they make a little path and you can walk through it and it's so, so much fun. We work our way through the heartache And then we're back where we started That's what we do. Okay, doing all this laundry is reminding me of my last video where we basically tore our washing machine apart and tried to clean it the best that we could and then put it back together. 
several of y'all have reached out to me on Instagram and asked if anything is smelling any better. I wish that I could say that it is. I think that sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. And Mark and I were just kind of wondering if it's our water. As weird as that sounds, sometimes the sink in our bathroom on the right side doesn't smell the best like the water that comes out and the same for the sink upstairs right above where my sink is so i don't know if it's that or if it's the fact that we just have front loaders but i know a lot of y'all were giving me suggestions as far as like when i'm not running a load leave the washing machine open and stuff like that and i already do all of that all of the routine stuff that you're supposed to do with them I pretty much try to do always. So I think it is the fact that it's a front loader and those are known for having horrific smells sometimes. And I think it's also maybe our water and I don't know, it might be some other stuff too, but if I'm being fully honest with y'all, I'm so frustrated by it because I have a really good sense of smell and even like the slightest stinkiness, I can smell it on all of our clothes and it drives me nuts and I feel like there's nothing I can do about it. So we're still kind of working on it and I don't know why, but seeing everything that comes up out of the carpet and into the vacuum cleaner and then emptying it out will never not be satisfying to me. Do you know what love means? This is insane. You're saying things I can't explain. I know where your heart is, where you want to be. So why do you keep testing me? It just isn't worth my time to try to make you believe me. I had asked this question on Instagram a few weeks back, but if you guys have a top loading washing machine that you love, and even better if you've been using it for years and years and you still love it and it works just as good as the day you got it. I would love for y'all to leave me the name of it in the comments so I can look through everything. I got tons of recommendations when I asked about it on Instagram. It did get a little bit overwhelming, but I did see several of the same name pop up over and over again, which helps me to know that it's something that I should check out. So if you guys have any suggestions, definitely leave them in the comments and I would love to check them out. You're talking in riddles, just let it go. And trust me if you love me so. It just isn't worth my time. For those of you who might be a little bit newer to my channel, this is my daughter Ava's room. She is nine years old and she has Betty's bedding and absolutely loves it. I couldn't say enough good things about this bedding. It is like seriously top quality and I've washed it so many times and it always ends up looking just as good as it did the day that we got it. So if you're thinking about it, I highly suggest it. I always have a discount code in my description box. My sweet buddy Max had actually choked on a chip a few days before I filmed this and he was okay, but I think that it got stuck in his throat and then it ended up just making him feel like he needed to throw up, so he did. And because we weren't sure if he was getting sick or if it was just because of the chip, we had him sleep in our room and so I ended up washing the sleeping bag and all the blankets that he used in our room. So I was just rolling them up and putting the sleeping bag back at the top of the closet and then taking the blankets back downstairs. And then it's a few hours later in the night and I wanted to clean up the kitchen and finish up what I started earlier because I kind of just did like all the surface cleaning 
And now I knew I needed to clean the stovetop. It is always so bad. I don't know what it is about cleaning the stovetop that I put off for so long, but I can't handle when it just has grease splatter or whatever splatter all over it. So I wanted to tackle that and then just get the rest of it fully cleaned up. Yours if you need a friend, yeah, yeah Fake one Staying until the end Yeah, I know how to play pretend Oh, oh, oh tell me how do I get have y'all ever washed the grates for your stovetop in your dishwasher? So I keep hearing people suggest this to me and a couple of y'all have even seen a few other content creators do this. But my question is, is it going to break the racks on my dishwasher? Because my stove grates, maybe they're different than others. They are so heavy like beyond heavy and i just feel like they would weigh down maybe i could put them in the bottom rack but then only one would fit maybe two could fit so needless to say i haven't tried it yet but i'm very curious to know if any of y'all have and i'm kind of wanting to try it maybe even just with one section I do get questions about why I choose to sweep when I do sweep and why I choose to vacuum and there is really no rhyme or reason to it. Sometimes I choose to sweep because my kids have just gone to sleep or maybe even Mark is already asleep for the night so I don't want to disrupt any of their sleep although pretty much everybody in my house is a very hard sleeper. But sometimes I choose to sweep the floors, which this kind of makes me laugh. My friend says broom the floors. Does anybody here say that too? She's from like the Pittsburgh area, but I don't know why that just always makes me laugh every time she says that. But I do just really, really love to sweep and I find it to be very relaxing to me and that's why I choose to do it sometimes. So there's not always a rhyme or reason to it, but sometimes those are the reasons. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for Santa tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree, hugging and kissing the this right here is the reason why I have not filmed a ton of my Christmas decorating. I just cannot make up my mind. I have been so indecisive. Almost everything I do, I end up undoing and redoing or doing something differently. So I just feel like that is not exactly the content that people want to watch. It's just me changing my mind a million times. So I did include a tiny bit of it just because along the way, a few things here and there do end up sticking and staying in place. But in my next video, you'll see a little bit more decor on this shelf right here because I do love the way that it turned out. And what I'm doing here on the fireplace has stuck too because I really, really do love it. And since then I've added even a few more colorful trees to the mantle that I love too. Saying hi to every friendly face And later we warm up by the fireplace Carolers are singing outside our door Lovely songs we all heard before As they walk from house to house To wish us all a Merry Christmas Day
And you know, since it's basically almost Christmas time, I figured it was probably time to take some of these bins back out to the garage. The decor that I knew I wasn't going to end up using, I finally took back out there, but I did leave a few things just because I didn't know if I was going to be using it over the next couple days. Like I said, my word for this Christmas season is just indecisive, apparently. Even when it's not pollen season here in Georgia, my front door gets disgustingly dirty and I am constantly having to wipe it down. I was wiping it down really, really late at night. I think it was past midnight at this point and Mark was sound asleep. The kids were all asleep and I had to have my front door open to be wiping it down or I had to fully stand outside and close it and i don't typically get scared of noises but we have had a lot of coyotes in our neighborhood and just other random animals we have lots of deer and just who knows what else could show up and i kept hearing like cracking in the bushes and i was just thinking about all these different scenarios of like being attacked by some random animal I don't know. My mind was racing. And so I kept looking over to my left about a million times. I was really thankful to have that done. Plus it was super duper cold, at least cold for this Georgia girl because it was in the forties, I think. So I was happy to close that door and be safe inside with no crazy animals or noises or the freezing cold. Apparently, I like to be super smart and get glass ornaments for our Christmas tree. So naturally, one fell and broke. It was not when I was home, but it kind of shattered everywhere. And I was trying to show y'all as closely as I could here on the rug. So I knew I needed to get it vacuumed up. This is my best vacuum cleaner by far, my Shark Apex Uplight. Nothing about this is sponsored. I just love the vacuum cleaner. I bought it off their site. I do have it linked in the description if you want to look at it, but sometimes it goes on major sale. So wait until it's on sale for like a hundred dollars off. It's amazing. You will love it, but it worked really well to get everything up, or at least I hope that it got everything up. Nobody's complained about stepping on anything sharp, but when I was picking up all the pieces to the broken ornament, it kind of reminded me of my mom because anytime anything glass broke in our house she would always try to fully piece it back together and make sure that she got all the pieces up and i am so much like her i tried my hardest to do that but sometimes you just have to vacuum and hope for the best and again here is all the nastiness that came from the vacuum cleaner it's just way too much fun for me to empty that out I can't wait to show you guys a little bit more of my Christmas decor in my next video and I will be doing a full Christmas home tour over on our vlogging channel too just super casual and I know it's a little bit later than usual but that's just kind of how I roll thank you guys so much for watching today's video I love y'all dearly and I will see y'all next time bye guys you gotta hold on.